Hi, my name is David Emerson. I'm a long-term myeloma survivor, myeloma cancer coach, director of People Beating Cancer. Welcome to both a multiple myeloma-themed blog post, as well as a, a blog post uh, regarding a sort of a current topic, even though COVID, SARS, COVID-19 is not all that current these days. It's been a couple of years since COVID-19 has been a thing. Bottom line is over the past few months, uh, let's say the end of um, 2021, I began to read studies talking specifically about COVID with respect to multiple myeloma, or sh I should say multiple myeloma patients and how they react uh, to, the, to COVID itself, to vaccination, uh, to a variety of things. It became painfully obvious that Myeloma patients are uh, behind the eight ball when it comes to infection. Um, infection is the leading cause of death for multiple myeloma patients. It should be no surprise then that a more serious infection like COVID-19 is um, damaging to multiple myeloma patients and survivors. Here's the deal. I firmly believe that... Um, we myeloma patients must do everything we can to enhance our immune function to prevent death or long COVID um, going forward. I personally am vaccinated. I got my booster last week. I think all myeloma patients should do that. In addition, there are a number of studies linked below on the, the blog post below citing specific nutritional supplements and lifestyle therapies, exercise, vitamin C, acetyl L-cysteine, that improve our immune function even more. N not tons. We're not talking about a silver bullet cure, but we need all the help we can get. Uh, many of the supplements I'm taking anyway for my management of multiple myeloma it makes sense that... Um, there are other reasons to be supplementing, to be living a healthy lifestyle. Read the, the links below. If you have any questions, comments, shoot me a, an email. I will reply to you ASAP. To summarize, we multiple myeloma patients have compromised immune systems. Whether you're pre-myeloma Full myeloma, myeloma survivor, I've been in remission for years, but my immune function is compromised. We need to do everything we can to reduce our risks of death from COVID, certainly hospitalization from COVID, long COVID. Read the post below. Let me know if you have any questions or comments. In the meantime, be well.